Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22. As we get started on our start from scratch map here, uh, the last episode was just a lot of intro, kind of going over things, buying our farm, getting the initial piece of equipment. But now today is when we actually start doing some actual farming. So we're going to get right into this. Uh, before I get into this, I didn't remember to say this until the end of last episode. So bear with me. But please, if you like this type of content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell notification. Give me comments about what you think because it really, really helps me out to know that you guys do enjoy this and want to continue seeing more of it. Um, but without further ado, let's start farming. All right, here we are in a game. I'm hoping my camera position is okay. I think it's all right, because we got stuff on the left, stuff on the right. I don't think there's anything in the middle. If there is, we'll 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 adjust as needed. But here we are. We've got our first farm. Uh, if we're going to go look at the map here, sorry. Hit, if I remember which buttons to push. Uh, this is the map that we're playing on. And look how big this thing is. This thing is amazing. Uh, this is the US map. Um, I just suddenly mind like the name of it. It's in the title of the video. But I forgot the name of it all of a sudden, so bear with me. Um, I wanted to say Erling Crap, but I'm like, no, no, that was the last map I played on on Farm Sim 19 that's also in this game, but this is not Erling Crap. Um, but no, this is the American map, uh, and it looks very cool. It's so much space to explore. I have like very, very briefly driven a couple of places, and that's it. Like, there's so much stuff here, and it's gonna be fun exploring all that. But we're here at this little spot here in the middle. This is where you would start if you started as a uh, a new farm mode, like the easy mode. Uh, where you get a lot of different equipment and stuff like that to start off with. This is the uh, the setup you would start with, except you actually get a house over here, and you actually get a silo and lots of other equipment. So, uh, yeah, we don't have any of that. We've got two buildings and three fields, and that is it. But we got our little guy here, and we are going to get things started. Um, we are going to turn on our harvester, lower the head. Um, I, I don't think canola has straw, does it? No, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Hasn't been that long since I played Farm Sim, has it? Um, can I? No. Or how do I? There we go. I was like, how do I zoom the camera out a little bit? I want to be able to see a little bit more space here. Look how this just looks so cool. Like, I don't know what to say other than this. This is just different. Like, you even see how, like, the, the grass or the uh, crop kind of carries over to the edge of the field a little bit more. It's not like it's just a clean edge. It's like... There's like a little bit of kind of it's a little bit more dynamic there. That's really, really cool. Um, I'm going to turn around here. I think I have crop destruction turned on, so we'll try to make sure we do not destroy any of this awesome crop we have here. And at some point, I'm probably just going to turn the, the worker on to help us out because quite frankly, I don't have a lot of time to I mean, I have, you know, a decent amount of time to play, but I want to get things moving. And one of the ways I get things moving is usually and if you don't like this, I apologize, but it's just the way I play is that I like to have workers helping me out so that I can I can be doing other things while my workers are doing what they got to do. Um, we don't got a lot of dupe right now, so we're going to just do this part ourselves. But um, and bear with me a little bit as well, because I am trying to remember the controls for the controller. I do use I think I mentioned this last episode. I use the Xbox controller uh, at some point. I might get a steering wheel. But for now, we're going to be playing with the Xbox controller, which I do enjoy a lot. Get a lot of control with it. Um, I try playing with the keyboard and mouse. It's fine for a lot of things. I don't like it for trying to drive around tractors. Uh, I do like the controller a lot. I think it works really, really well. I can only imagine the steering wheel works even better, potentially, if you like that kind of thing. But uh, we'll just continue playing with this for now. And if I do decide to try out one of the controllers or one of the steering wheels, I will let you guys know what that is and give you guys a bit of a preview of that. Hey, we got a little creek over here. That's pretty cool. I like that actually a lot. I love this map so far. This is so cool. We're just going to get this going. I want to get I want to get to a stable place with what we've got here. We've got canola that was already ready to harvest. So let's just get this off, not lose any money. We, let's just, you know, uh, you know, take advantage of the money that we've already got sitting here on this field when we bought this land. And then once we got that done, we can kind of establish what we're actually going to be doing with this map after that. So bear with me. I actually don't know what we're going to do. At some point, we're going to be doing some sort of... Um, production queue, uh, some sort of production cycle or something like that. I just, I haven't figured out which one, maybe more than one, but, uh, we definitely want to try and play around with all, a lot of the production queues and really have a goal and a focus for the crops that we put down. Um, I don't know if we'll do this 
play through animals. I really don't know. Honestly, there's so much new stuff. I don't know what I want to do yet. I think we'll start with the production cues. I think that's the most new thing, but there are some new things with the animals. In fact, I think there are some new animals, right? There's uh, I know there's bees. I thought there was one other new animal. I could be wrong, but, uh, and even, even on this right here, we could do bees. We could find a little place to put our beehives and, you know, make honey or something like that. I think if you make honey and wheat, I think you can do a production queue for cereal, which might be cool because, you know, cereal is by far one of my favorite food groups. <laughs> so it <laughs> would be very, very, uh, you know, on point for me. I love the graphics here. I mean, this looks so cool. I, I, I mean, I knew they were going to do a little bit of uh, texturing, but I mean, it looks like more than just texturing to me, but maybe, maybe this is what texturing does. Maybe texturing does take that, that old, you know, that graphics engine and just takes it to that next level. So maybe, maybe the graphics aren't necessarily improved as much as it kind of appears to be, but um, the detail, the sharpness just looks, looks so cool to me. Get this canola almost done. I think if I'd done it a little bit better, I could have finished on this pass, but that's all right. We'll, we'll finish on the next one and all will be well. I mean, I lease this harvester, but we're probably going to need it for um, the other two fields once they get ready as well. Bit of a tight corner over here. I wonder if I can sell that building. I don't really... I mean, it's... Fans, it's, it's a thing. I don't know that I really like it there, if I had to be perfectly honest. It doesn't, it's not functional. And so the fact that it's not functional, I'm like, yeah, decorative pieces are fun and nice and all, but not really like, I mean, once we get further into the game, we really want to decorate it the way we want to decorate it. Fine. I'm hundred percent okay with it. And I like that a lot, but where it's at right now, it just kind of feels like it's going to be in the way of this field right here. So actually what we're going to do is see if there's a way to sell that. So well, there's our crop. It's not a, well, I was going to say it's not a lot of crop, actually. Oh, no, no, it's not a lot. I was I was like, did we get 17,000 off of this? No, that's a tiny little L at the end. That's a liter. So we got 1,745. Not a lot. Not going to make us a lot of money. In fact, we can check the prices real quick and see how much money we expect to make off of this. Uh, this was canola. Canola. Where is the canola? There it is. Um... Price per liter, we can sell it for 800 at the oil mill. So $800 per liter. So we made about, what, 1500 bucks off of this, maybe. Not even. But yeah, less than that, probably 1300 bucks off of this. So it's not really a lot, lot. We definitely need to get more use out of this uh, harvester to make it worthwhile. But let's jump out for a second and let me see. Oh, the engine's still running. Let's, I may turn on the start-stop start, start because, you know, just quality of life thing is this sellable and i think the sell thing is in this menu down here at the bottom we go to construction and and in case you want to know how in the world i know this is because i was kind of playing around earlier to see if i could buy one of the other plots of land and sell the stuff that was on it so we can go to demolish here and we can remove we can sell it for zero so we don't get any money off of it but honestly i think i'm okay with that I think I would rather just put something else there at some point. I could sell this and we do get money for that. And I could sell this and we do get money for that. I'm not going to sell them right now, but since this silo is not functional, I might sell it at some point to get an actual functional silo or a different um, shed or something of that nature. So for now we'll leave it uh, because we don't need that space at the moment, but at some point we might do something else with it. All right. There is that. I do want to get us a tractor or truck and a trailer. Um, so let's go look at what we can buy there. I'm tempted to just buy us a pickup truck. Oh, not, not that kind of truck. Sorry. Um, where's the, what am I looking for? There we go. Cars. Uh, tempted to buy us just a little pickup truck just to be able to zip around. Awesome stuff. You can get a 1986 or 27. You think they would have gotten us a more modern truck by now. Um, <laughs> but uh, does it say what these can tow? Any difference in towing? 
200 horsepower. Are they both? Oh, this is 300 horsepower. I looked at the number wrong. So we've got this little guy. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, different wheels. Oh, it's just two different wheels. Okay. Two different colors. License plate. Oh, we can actually change the license plate. That's pretty cool. I mean, at some point, we're going to want to pick up truck, and it will make it easier for us to get crops to the to market quicker. Uh, let's look at the trailers real quick. We're definitely going to need us to get us a trailer. Um, trailers are not too expensive, to be fair. Is it not telling us the load here? Or is it telling us the load, but in a weird way that I don't understand? Eight meters cubed. That doesn't tell me anything. I don't know what eight meters cubed is <laughs> relative to them. It used to tell us liters, and that's that's kind of strange to me. Wait, do I have like something setting um, wrong? No, still on miles and all the other units and stuff that I like. Huh. Let me just double check that I do have it on three days for, oh, I don't, oh no. All right, let's turn it on three days for, I want to put it on three days for seasons. Um, I had, I'd restarted the game after I went and exited earlier. Um, and so I think it had just reset this. Is there anything else I wanted to change? I think everything else was okay, but I don't know why it left that one as not what I had left it on. We do have crop destruction turned on. Uh, we do have the stones, which is going to be interesting to play around with. We've got normal dirt. All oh, that looks good. I am going to turn on the, uh, Engine start, uh, automatic engine start, uh, just quality of life. Just so one less button I have to push. Uh, keep the brake button held to brake and automatic start reversing. Um, I think I actually like that. I do also want the trailer fill limit turned on. I don't, I don't understand what this actually is. I'll have to do some research on it. Uh, I think I talked about this last episode where like, what does that do? Like, I'd rather just stop filling when I'm done. Um, one less thing for me to have to worry about. I might play around with it at some point, but for now, we're going to leave that there. Oh, and I do have the game save. I had changed that last time, so we'll call this LP1. All right. Snow is turned on. All that stuff's turned on. All this stuff looks okay. Uh, I think we're in a good spot. Um, Gear shifts automatic for now. That's fine. We might play around with it at some point. Spot on, display engine speed, vehicle speed. I'm assuming we'd want vehicle speed since we're using automatic gear shifting. I'm assuming engine speed would be so you know where the RPMs are, so you know when to shift. Am I right? <laughs> Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Um, defines that the vehicle direction change is automatically toggled. Oh, uh, okay. That's what... Wait, no. Direction change? I don't know what that is. I thought maybe it was the thing where some vehicles can turn with Front wheels and some vehicles can turn with all four wheels, but that doesn't sound like what that is. Toggled. I don't understand what that is. Maybe it has something to do with keeping the tractors in a straight line somehow. I, I really don't know. You guys, if you guys know, let me know. Uh, here's some contracts. We'll take a look at those at some point. Hey, there's some pretty good contracts, actually. We definitely will be looking at those to make us some money. Uh, and I think we actually have a loan right now, don't we? We do have a little bit of a loan. I would like to pay that off as soon as possible. Uh, we will get into that. Uh, the lease, how, how often is the lease? Is the lease monthly? I think it's just monthly now. So maybe that's okay. Because uh, I don't see the like, normally in the 19, if you guys remember, you paid the upfront lease price and then you paid a daily fee, if I remember right. Um, whereas this one, I didn't didn't seem like it had that same breakdown. So it might just be like a every month you pay in this amount, it gets rid of the the upfront costs. Uh, and then, of course, the daily costs or something. I, I honestly don't know. We'll find out once the day passes uh, what it looks like. It'll be one of those things we get to learn together. So uh, let me take a look at this for a second, because I want to know if we're butting up on something that we want to deal with. Um, we're right in the middle of canola harvesting season. So there's that. We've also got soybeans and harvesting season for that is in October. Is that when that's going to be done growing? Are we, are we, uh, can we assume that? And then we've also got sorghum. And we're about to be in the, we are in the harvesting season for sorghum as well. So hopefully we can get that pulled off here shortly. Um, and then we can't plant, according to this, for a little while. We got wheat we can plant. Uh, is, that, is that what? We can plant in September, October. We can plant barley. And we can plant canola now. 
We could replant canola, but we wouldn't be able to harvest again until next year. Maybe three day seasons is too long. Or three day months is too long. Because there's not as many options to, you know what? Maybe it is too far, too, too, too long. At least three single days would be every three days we get to, we're, we're, we're changing a month, right? I think that might be better. Or sorry, every three days we're changing the season. I think that might be better for now. And if we want to lengthen it up later, we might. But I think, I think looking at this and realizing that we can only plant and harvest once, one season, each thing per, per year. I don't know if I want to go, you know, 12 days between um, harvests. I'd rather go, um, not 12 days, it'd be um, three times, three times, 36 days between harvest. I don't think I want to go 36 days between harvest. I think 12 days per harvest is is definitely what we would need to be set on. So we're going to change this. I mean, the fair, to be fair, the default was, um, oh, wrong button, wrong one, uh, was one day. So we'll leave it on one day because that's what they had it on default. We'll see what what that looks like i'm gonna go ahead and save the game well so all this stuff saves for me and uh oh yeah i need to get me a tractor or trailer and stuff like that so let's get us a little dinky trailer nothing crazy this might be one of the first things i actually buy is there any like good are these fully in order of price sometimes when you have like dlc it puts it like further down the list which is a little annoying to be fair i like the fact that it is up oh, there is one here that's like kind of randomly stuck here in the middle, but otherwise mostly in order of price. Um, Power flex. Different wheels, okay. There's a lot of different wheels. Goodness. I mean, presumably the Continental works good on the, the roads. I don't know if it really matters. I think there is a little bit of a difference between the wheels um, when you're actually getting a tractor. We've got the cover, We've got the main color, I thought maybe since this was a uh, power flex, it might be a bit more flexible than it's showing us. Um, we got the welder here. Configuration standard. Oh, yeah, this one can be, should be a bail trailer. That's very cool. Um, honestly, this may be fine for now. I, I still wish I understood what the volume was. I don't know what eight, and maybe that's the reason, maybe that's the point. We don't know what the volume is because it changes based on the crop, right? Obviously a small crop, but that's still leaders. Isn't leaders volume still right? Is there like some thing where like one meter cubed is like a liter? No, that, that wouldn't be, make sense. A liter is a much smaller volume than that or much smaller than a meter cubed. Uh, leaders like, you know what? A, um, like I got a water bottle here, here, um, which I don't know if it'll show up. That's half a liter. So one liter is two of these. Yeah. That's, that's a tiny, tiny space. Um, well, anyway, let's see here. We got the standard configuration. We got the Trailbergs. I mean, if they're all the same price, I guess it doesn't really matter. Now we'll just leave the Trailbergs on there. Wide tires. We get some wide tires. I don't think we need wide tires necessarily. I think it's fine. The standard, especially since it saves us money. Um, honestly, I don't know if you know if we need the cover right now. We're just going to fill it up and drop it off right away. Uh, we don't need to change the color cover cover color, obviously. And we get a license plate. Uh, no, wait a second. Uh, how do I change the license plate? Oh, why? <laughs> um, oh, Elm Creek. That's the name of the map we're on. <laughs> Front and back. Back only. We'll just put it on the back. And we'll get us a... Uh, is that one only let numbers? It is only numbers. We'll just do this. We'll just call this... Uh, B R O Y A R. And how do we delete the other ones? I just did delete. Or does it need to be that full? Okay, it probably needs to be all of that. Um, we'll just play it F Arm R M. Roy Farm. Alright, good enough. No reasons. Um uh, this looks a little bit more like our color, maybe. Sure, we'll go with it. Okay, we got us a, a license plate. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> it's so silly, but it's so pretty cool. Uh, and we are, I think we're going to buy this trailer. 
because we are going to use this trailer a lot. So this will probably be the first thing we actually do legit buy. And then I'd like to just get a truck. I'm just going to get the pickup truck for now. At some point, we will get the tractor, uh, obviously, because we need a tractor. But I do also want a pickup truck because the pickup truck is going to be a bit quicker to zip things around if it can pull the stuff, hopefully. Um, so we're just going to get a little dinky pickup. We'll, we'll upgrade to a better one at some point. Uh, oh, there's three wheels. I think I like two of the best. Um, main color. Oh, no. Uh, main color. Get a black. Uh, actually, let's do this. Get like a gray. Mm. Maybe something like that, but I kind of want the rims to be like a black rim. I don't know. <laughs> Something of nature. Kind of a cool little, little car. All right. And then we'll get to our license plate. Oh, no, no. I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, change this. Is it not going to keep it? Aw, I don't want to have to fill this in every single time. Fine. I'll just do it for now. I probably won't do this forever, though. I'll do it for these things. Oh, no, did I lose it? I did lose it. Can I just type it? Um... Uh, <laughs> this is a lot easier. <laughs> we'll just do it that way. Uh, we'll put it on the front and back because that's what we have to do where I live right now. And okay. There we go. There we go. And bye. Sometimes the mouse keyboard is better. All right. Let's go jump on our truck. Our truck. And will it haul this trailer? I think it will. Won't. Why won't it haul the trailer? Is this like a special type of trailer? Oh, it does have like a little different connector than I'm used to. Well, we're going to learn. We're going to learn today the hard way. Uh, what if I bought, let's buy a different trailer then. We're going to find something else. This trailer looks like it actually has a ball hitch. Yes. I think I see it. I do see it now. I thought... Like in the, I feel like in 2019, it didn't, or in 19 or whatever, whatever the number is, uh, I don't think it mattered as much. I think there were a couple trailers that you had to have specific types of hookups. I didn't think these smaller trailers like this mattered at all, quite frankly. And so I just assumed, even though I could see it, I just assumed it would just all fit. But it looks like maybe there is a difference. So let's buy the ball hitch one. Uh, is this a ball hitch? Oh, no, wait. No, that's a. That one looks like it has. I can't tell. Hmm. Uh, I guess I can hit C for combinations. Oh, there are no combinations. Never mind. But what if I go back over to this thing? I hit C. No, there's no combinations. Okay. Um. No, that looks like the same kind of thing. I can't tell on that one. That one does not. Uh, it's also kind of, what, what do they call that? Uh, it's like a ring, some sort of something or another. I forget the name of that, to be honest. I've heard somebody say it before and I suddenly don't remember the name of it. That one looks like normal hitch, 33,000. I mean, this is 36. It's more than I'd like. Oh, and this one's just a dump truck, isn't it? Oh no, it holds great. It holds prop. Um, this one's 32. Oh, that's the one that we already saw. Honestly, I think I'm going to go try and get this one and see if this will do what we want it to do for now. It's a bit more than I want it to spin on a trailer, though. Hmm. It's a class one I like. But there doesn't seem to, it doesn't, it's not the same type of hookup. Maybe we just have to have a tractor. Maybe we can't hook it up to the truck. And if that's the case, we're going to get a tractor anyway. And that's all fine, well, and good, I guess. But I was hoping that we'd have something that would be universal enough to fit with a truck. I can't tell what this one is very well. No, it's, it's got the ring. Okay. I see it now. Well, just for experimentation's sake, we're going to buy one of these other ones. And just to see if it does. We're going to buy this one. We're just going to see what if it does hook to the truck. If it doesn't, then we'll know. 
And life goes on. And we can do Michelin. And I'll just leave the Trailbergs. We'll just do the standards. Honestly, we're just gonna leave a lot of it the same. I don't care about the license plate right now. Um, sure. Oh, that's that's different. That's a bold look. We'll go with this. Um, I'm tempted to just lease it just to see if it works. I think I will. I'd rather find out if it works without spending a ton of money. And don't get me wrong, this truck is not near near as good as that other truck that we can buy the 2017. But I was hoping it would at least get the job done. Okay, there we go. We are at least able to hook up to this. We're at least able to pull stuff. Well, not very fast, apparently. This is a very large trailer for this tiny little truck. I, we may just have to settle for tra tractors. I like doing the trucks because they can obviously drive faster, which gets you to wherever you have to drop off a little bit quicker. But this, But the other side effect of trucks is that the trailer tends to push the truck more than the truck is pulling the trailer, if that makes sense. Um, so you get to a point where you start to get out of control. If I start to wiggle a little bit here, I'm actually surprised we're not getting out of control yet. It might be just, be just because it's not weighed down at the moment, but let's weigh it down, see what it looks like. Oh, I say weigh down. We're not going to get that much crop in here. We're going to weigh down a little bit, and then we're going to get an idea of how bad this is going to be. It does look a little goofy, though. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Uh, get over here. All right. Let's uh, put the pipe out. Is it close enough? Ooh, we might even need to pull up a little bit. Oh, there it goes. Get our canola in here. Oh, it's going to turn it off. Boo. All right, there we go. Canola's in there. Not a lot, but it's in there. And we can go do our, drop off our first load here. Our tiny little thing of canola. Man, we yeah, we get this thing filled down. There's no way this is going to be able to pull anything. I think we're going to have to just... Man, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping we could use the truck to kind of zip around quicker. And it's possible the other truck, like I said, would do a better job. Uh, I need to find the place to sell. And we get to learn how to do all this stuff. Um... Canola. Best, I mean, it's going up in price at Goldcrest Valley, um, but it's selling the most at the oil mill. So, oh, we can even show the price. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Oh, it will actually potentially go up in price in December. Oh. Okay. Well, that's an interesting thing to think about. That if we were to hold on to this a little bit longer, we... We could, <clears throat> excuse me, actually make some more money. Because uh, we're in what? April? August. So we're in August. Wow. Um, Which is way down here. So in theory, it has a long ways to grow. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we do have money. It's not like we're, we're losing. We're, not, we're in a bad place with money right now. So we have time to do, you know, to sell this for whatever we want to sell it for. And okay, well then let's see, how much would it cost us to get us a silo on our farm? Uh, that would be not here, it'd be here. We come down here to construction and go down to uh, silos. Like what does a cheap little silo cost? It's not, it's not terrible. There's a couple, these are all like bunker silos. Liquid manure tank, manure heap. Okay, we would need an, we would actually need an auger or conveyor for that silo, so that one's not quite what we're looking for. What we probably want is one of the ones that has. This is just a hayloft. I mean, we basically we probably want this one, right? This four hundred thousand one, Unia. It's pretty expensive. Is there a silo nearby that we can just store at? couple drop-offs not any silos that I'm seeing close by what's the what's the what am I looking for um keep in the wrong buttons silo is would it just be a tip station well no, that's not those are, those are, those are actually drop-offs for things I don't see silo on here 
I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Debris crusher, fast food restaurant. I mean, there's got to be side of somewhere, right? But I'm just not seeing it. Grocery mark. Um, or grocery mark. Is that what I said? I just read it wrong. Oh, it's it's a grocer Weimart, which basically looks like grocery. Okay, I get it. It's kind of funny. Um, I think we might want a silo for if 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 we're gonna play to the seasons and play to the fluctuation of prices, then I do think a silo is gonna be needed. We're gonna have to sell so much crop just to pay for the silo, right? But if we sell it for a higher price, then eventually the silo will pay for itself by having the silo. It will pay for itself because we'll be able to save the crops for the right time. An extra 25% for just an extra. Um, just, I don't think, I mean, we're not going to need 400,000 as it is. I'm tempted to put this back here where I had that building. Uh, how do I rotate? Um, probably right. Why? Uh, right. Yes. No. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm tempted to put it back here, but that might be in the way of stuff. Uh, in the er, the farm that you can uh, in the I'm trying to say the uh, new player farm the the easy mode farm I guess it's over here so which is probably a decent place to put it I could also put it over here where the house normally is kind of off out of the way honestly actually right here oh it overlaps with that so is that and we um. Can we demolish any of these things? Like, okay, if I sell the swing set, which I don't need, what is that? I honestly don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, what is that? Is like a like a fire pit or something? I can't tell. Um, do we have? No, we don't. It still overlaps apparently. Uh, if we back it up a little bit, put it kind of here in the tree a little bit. I want to be able to get past it, but I also wouldn't mind being able to put the house back down there at some point. But I kind of want it off to the side here. And I think I'm okay with it for the most part where it's at. Eh, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Okay, it does flatten the ground a little bit, which is pretty cool. And let's exit out of here and go drop off. Well, if we are going to do it, drop it off at the silo a lot of the times, then I think we will just get us a tractor that can drop off because we're not going that far. And then when it's time comes time to like sell a bigger load at the uh, drop offs at the right time of year, maybe we'll have something different by then. I, I don't know. We'll have to think about that. Uh, we want to. Um, oh, we can't. <laughs> What's coming out of there? <laughs> it says start feeling, but it's not. Oh, there's the overload at the bottom. I was like, where's my buttons to overload? Yeah, let's get rid of that. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is kind of, kind of nifty. And do we see that represented here now? Uh, yep. 1,744 liters. All right. Well, we'll come back in December and see if we can sell the canola. For now, with the experimentation done, I think I am going to sell this stuff, pick up a tractor and just pick up that other trailer. It was worth experimenting. Now we know, but uh, wasn't sure. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we will have an actual tractor and we'll do a little bit more farming. Apologize if the first few episodes of this got a little bit slow. Said I'm still learning a lot of the little minutia, little details. Um, but uh, actually, this thing does not drive too terribly bad. But anyway, uh, but I do appreciate you guys watching. Um, and may God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.